Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well today. Let us start with our maths class for today. So for today, we are going to work out some word problem questions on wages. Okay, so we already worked out questions on uh, profit and loss. These were word problem questions on profit and loss on the pages 128 and 129. Okay, now let us move on to page 130. Question, uh, question number 33. To 38. Okay, these are the numbers you are going to work out today. So, are you ready? You are going to follow in your book, and later on, you will work out all these questions in your copybook. Question number 33. Let us read this question together. For a day's work, Akim is paid 375 rupees. He works five days per week. How much money does he earn in eight weeks? Okay, so the topic is wages, meaning you are going to work out some questions on wages, which, mean, uh, which means people uh, who work their salary they are uh, they are earning so you are going to work out questions based on uh, this okay question number 33 uh, did you understand the question okay for one day uh, Akin is being paid 375 rupees now what about five days how much money is he earning? So first of all, he's, he's working uh, one week. He's working five days, n'est-ce pas? So for one day, 375 rupees. He's asking you about in eight weeks, how much? So first of all, you have to work out. You, have, you already know. One week is equal to five days he's working. What about in eight weeks? How many days he's working? Okay. Now, for uh, eight weeks is equal to how many days you're going to work out? Now, one day, He's working 375 rupees. What about for eight weeks? Which means the number of days you have worked out for the eight weeks, you have to multiply by one day. Okay. Now in one week you have five days, eight weeks you will have five times eight, 40 days. So, one day is equal to 375 rupees, 40 days is equal to how much? Very simple, n'est-ce pas? So, you'll work this out. The next question, Sarika receives 85 rupees an hour when she babysits her neighbor's child. She babysat for 8 hours on Friday and 4 hours on Saturday. How much money does she receive in all? So here, take a look. You have for one hour is equal to 85 rupees. For Friday, you have four hours. Uh, sorry, for Friday, you have eight hours. How much is equal to eight hours? For Saturday, you have four hours. How much uh, for four hours? If one hour is equal to 85, what about eight hours and what about four hours? And then you have to calculate the total, uh, how much she received in all.
So is that clear? Let us move on. We move on to question number 35 now. We are going to read this. David is saving to buy a brand new mobile phone that costs 5,100 rupees. He has already saved 2,100 rupees if he works for 250 rupees daily at a car wash. How many more days does he need to work to have enough money to buy the mobile phone? So, what can you understand in this question? Uh, the mobile phone costs 5,100 rupees, which he wants to buy. He has already saved 2,100 rupees. How much does he need to save more? Okay, so you have to write down the phone costs 5,100 rupees. He has saved 2,100 rupees how much he has to save more you're going to calculate this he's going to work for one day he's got to 250. how many more days he needs to work so when you have calculated how much more he needs to save you're going to divide by one day's work then the answer you're getting meaning this is the number of days he needs to work more okay so this one as well is very simple you have to reread the question and show you're working properly for question number 36 so this one is quite a lengthy question which means you have to reread the questions again this question again and you will have to work out this one step by step and do not forget to show all your working clearly in your copybook let us read this one mr james works as a painter from monday to friday he earns 125 rupees per hour of work. During the weekend, he is paid 175 rupees per hour of work. He works for six hours each day from Monday to Friday. On Saturday, he works for four hours and on Sunday, he works for only two hours. How much money will he earn for the whole week? So what have you been able to, from this question, what have you gathered? So here you have Monday to Friday, meaning how many days? Monday to Friday has got to five days. You, have, you can already write this down in your copybook, first of all. Monday to Friday has got to five days. So one hour. First of all, you're going to write, uh, for one day he works six hours, n'est-ce pas? He works for six hours each day from Monday to Friday. So one day is going to six hours. Five days, he is working from Monday to Friday, is going to five days. How many hours in all? You're going to calculate this really easy. You're going to write this down. Now you will write next. For one hour, he's been paid 125 rupees. Now, what about the total number of hours which you just calculated? How much in all he's been paid? This was for uh, from Monday to Friday. Now we are going to move on uh, to the uh, to Saturday and Sunday, meaning on weekends during the weekend. So here during the weekend he is paid each hour uh, which means he is paid on saturday for four hours he's working for four hours and on sunday he's working for 
two hours. But he's been paid the same for one hour, meaning 125 rupees. On Saturday, he works for four hours, meaning you have to work out. One hour is going to 175. For four hours on Sunday, how much does it make? For the two hours on Sunday, it's going to how much? Then what you can do, you can add the total, uh, the total he earns for Saturday and Sunday. You are going to add this. Then, uh, finally, you will add for the whole week how much money will he earn. So it's very simple if you are going to work this out step by step. First of all, you have to calculate the number of hours from Monday to Friday. Then, for one hour, go to 125 rupees for uh, the total number uh, total hours how much he earned then you move on uh, you work for the weekend how much he earns during the weekend then you're going to add these two for the weekdays and the weekend okay so this one quite a lengthy question work this out step by step i'm sure you will get the correct answer question number 37 a man earns 2430 rupees in a six day week he works eight hours daily from monday to friday and he is paid 54 rupees per hour for how long does he work on Saturday? So here for six days he is paid 2430 rupees. So he is going to work daily, which means one day he is working eight hours. What about five days? How many hours? Five times eight, 40 hours. Okay, so one hour he is paid 54 rupees. What about 40 hours? How much? Okay, so Monday to Friday, uh, he's earning how much? Because here you have for six days, he's earning 2,430 rupees. So calculate Monday to Friday. Then for Saturday, you will subtract the total he gets during the six days minus the, uh, the total he uh, he gets Monday to Friday, then you're going to divide by 54 rupees because one hour is got to 54 rupees, so you will divide, you will get your answer. Let us take the last question, question number 38. Three masons and two helpers together were paid 2,950 for one day's work. A helper earned 150 rupees less than a mason in one day. How much money did seven masons and three helpers earn in four days? So this as well, this question, you have to work this step by step. First of all, did you understand the question? You have to read this again. So here you have three masons and two helpers. Uh, you have five people over here. Now one helper earned 150 rupees less. So what are you going to do? Let us take it this way. So you are going to write down one, one helper is equal to 150 rupees less. Two helpers, 150 times two, 300 rupees less. Okay, now you are going to take the total amount, 2950. You will plus 300 rupees first. Okay, you will add this, uh, the 300 rupees less. You will add this first, then 
later on you will uh, uh, subtract this again okay so here 2950 plus 300 rupees the answer you're going to get this answer you you will divide this by five we have three masons two helpers go to five people you divide this by five the answer you will get this answer is the amount of money for each one of them okay each one of them gets this amount of money now for one helper you will take the amount of money you just got then you will subtract 150 rupees because the helper gets 150 rupees less so you will subtract 150 rupees okay one helper is equal to you get your answer here how much money did seven masons and three helpers earn in four days so first of all you're going to calculate for three helpers and seven masons and then you will find the total number uh, which means the amount of money you uh, they have got in four days okay children so you do this step by step this question i hope if you are going to show you're working properly you will have the correct answer for this one as well so that was all for today i hope you will complete all your homework do all your word problem questions okay we are going to meet for our next class take care do all your homework bye bye